to map the past 25 years of what we knew about scapula or shoulder blade strengthening exercises are all incorrect. The anatomy are, is all wrong and the new science is proving that now. So I want to just show you that on this video. So the scapula number one is pulling shoulders back and down to set your shoulders before you do any kind of workouts. That's number one. That will make your shoulder pain uh, continue. Hence Matt is here today. Two, uh, movements like uh, external rotation with your therabands. Always doing this sort of stuff, pulling backwards with therabands, rubber tubing. That's number two. Number three, doing things like flutters or doing everything down here. Pulling movements down like this. Uh, that sort of movement. Or pulling movements like this. Pulling, saying that if I pull all the time, my shoulders will go backwards and sit in a good position. Those movements are detrimental or the impingement health. And the reason is, the, the science now is saying your shoulder blades need to go up and out to clear the subacromial space. So that space in here, which Matt's getting typical shoulder impingement pain, all this space, so this is for all the crossfitters and lifters and anyone overhead arm athletes. You need to clear that space so when the arm comes up, the tissues don't get pinched under there, right? So the shoulder blade has to come up. If it doesn't come up, you're going to pinch it and you're going to keep blistering it. Remember I said all these on previous videos, you blister stuff under there and that's why it aches after a workout. You know, sometimes you lift your arm and oh, it catches you and then you can't sleep on it and etc, etc. So the exercises, those three scapular drills or the four scapular drills we just talked about, what they do anatomically is they pull the shoulders downwards and together. Wrong. People say, I want to focus on my rhomboids. Wrong. Because that will only create, number one, more nerve locks in the rhomboids, which cause people years of pain. That's that horrible one people walk in with right there going, Jim, this is driving me insane right there. That one there. And also, it downwardly rotates the scapula again. I won't go into the specific anatomy. That's probably for another day, and that would take an hour. But pulling it down will shorten this space or reduce this space and perpetuate the problem, if that makes sense. So those three exercises are completely wrong. I always recommend my patients to stop doing them and do the right exercise, which I've done on a previous video, and I will do another one on that down the track to remind you all. But remember guys, the three exercises that are bad, the rubber bands going outwards, shoulders back and down, pulling exercises, or these sort of motion exercises, uh, what else were you doing, Matt? Just, just, oh, that's, about it, that's about it. Okay, yeah, those are definitely the three and four most common ones to pull the shoulder blades back and down is incorrect. Please stop that because that is only, only going to perpetuate your shoulder impingement pain.